Hello and welcome. Cy Rodriguez here. 11 tips to wake you up in the morning. This is a follow up to that video. So if you haven't seen that video, which has the title, <laughs> wake up in the morning, 11 tips to get you out of bed, then you might want to watch that one first. So I've been doing this getting up in the morning for about three weeks. I'm gonna see if I can get you an exact date on that. Let's see here. Okay, since January 25th, today is the 13th. So yeah, it's just been about three weeks that I have been getting up at six in the morning. And the good news is, is that I have been getting up at six in the morning. There are two exceptions to this rule on two Sundays. I slept in until 8 o'clock intentionally and once I woke up at 615 because I didn't hear my alarm and my wife woke me up so other than that I have got up at 6 every morning and let me tell you it hasn't been easy but it has been fun <laughs> I was kind of being funny there but it it is good I love getting up and being up in the morning and that is the best reward of all for this whole experience. I'm on a schedule that is more like my family's schedule and I like that. It's so nice to be up in the morning. It's less depressing to be up during the day. So this is good. And yes, so for three weeks now, I have been getting up at six in the morning like I said I would and um, it's working well. Um, the only thing that I really don't like about it is is that I haven't been getting to bed on time every night and so I have decided to do something to help me to get up on time and that is I'm going to drink less caffeinated beverages meaning I drink tea and um, I drink a lot of it um, or I should I say I have been drinking a lot of tea so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut back my tea intake intake to only one time per day meaning I could make my big tea one time per day instead of two or even sometimes three times because that's crazy and it makes it harder for me to relax at night and go to sleep and get a nice sound solid sleep so I might even cut back the tea intake more later but um, I'm on the I'm experimenting with this I want to keep getting up at six in the morning but I don't want to give up everything that I enjoy doing and one of those things is drinking tea even if maybe it's not the best thing in the world for me and I care about my health health is a priority but um, sometimes I think maybe drinking a little tea might make me even more healthy so I don't know if it's true but that's the way I feel about it <laughs> now another thing we had talked about or I had talked with you about is doing sleep cycles so for part of this time I did experiment with doing sleep cycles and falling asleep around oh 14 minutes before you actually want to fall asleep and then sleeping in intervals of 90 minutes so maybe instead of sleeping eight hours you sleep seven and a half hours or you sleep nine hours I never made it to the nine hour point but I did sleep several seven and a half hour days and it did seem to help um, on the days where I didn't really meet that kind of 90 minute interval where I slept um, somewhere between seven and a half or somewhere between like six and a half and seven and a half hours it did seem harder to get up and even sleeping so that was the main thing I was gonna say because I don't I didn't really sleep too much more than seven and a half hours for most of the whole last three weeks and that has been what I didn't like now knowing what I know knowing that it is hard to wake up if you don't sleep enough first of all but also maybe it's even harder to wake out up if you're in the middle of a sleep cycle knowing that I still don't think that is as hard as just waking up in general I mean I should say as long as you're getting enough sleep I think that the hardest thing to do is just getting up period okay that didn't sound right okay <laughs> it's not easy to get up in the morning when you're at six in the morning when you're used to getting up a lot later than that so 
For anybody who is trying to change their life in this way, expect it to be a challenge. But the biggest help is telling somebody else you're going to do it, somebody who you're committed to, like I'm committed to you, and um, if I ever change what I'm doing here, I'm going to let you know. Um, and the other thing besides telling somebody that you're going to do it and being committed to that person that you're telling it to or those people that you're telling it to, the other thing is um, just realizing that it's probably not going to be easy to get up in the morning, but if you just know you're going to do it, if you set that alarm and you put that alarm in a place where you actually have to get up to go and turn that alarm off, that has been the biggest incentive for me. And then just wanting to do it because I said I would for you. So there's where I'm at right now. You know what I'm going to be doing next. That's going to be drinking less tea. If you're trying to change anything in your life, I want to let you know that, again, the thing that I most highly recommend is to let somebody know that you're going to make that change. Somebody or a group of people that you respect, that you are committed to, that you are going to keep your word to, that's going to be your biggest help. So it's rewarding. <laughs> and I feel much better overall getting up in the morning, even though I've gotten less sleep in the last three weeks than I was getting before. I overall feel better, but I do need to work on that getting enough sleep thing. And um, I'm going to let you know as things go forward how that's going and if it's working out good, if I'm feeling more rested, and I will update you soon. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.